Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 10 of our series of session on F12 configuration for voucher type. So we are viewing the voucher type configuration for purchase voucher and also these configurations are related to sales voucher. So in this session, we will learn it another option which is kind of an automated option that you can use in your organization for better data capturing. So let's go to tally and explore it another options under purchase voucher. We are in the purchase voucher. Let us go to F12 configuration. So I'm going to press F12 and today we will understand the options related to the configuration use default bill wise detail for bill allocation. Now this option is set as no. We will understand by passing the entry to find out what is the impact this option has if it is set to no or if it is set to yes. So I'm going to leave this option as no and I'm going to press control A. So let us pass a purchase entry to understand the configuration option. So supplier invoice number is GD slash 1215 dated as 15th January. So I'm going to select the party global distributors, selecting the purchase ledger and I'm selecting an item which is Dell monitor 32 inches. I'm going to buy five numbers, enter the rate gets populated based on the previous purchase rate, enter, enter. And now if you observe, once we come to the total column of the purchase invoice and when you press enter, we will see that the bill wise allocation subscreen opens and by default tally is selecting the type of reference as new reference. So I'm going to select as new reference and by default tally is going to pick up the supplier invoice number as the reference number. Enter, accept. We get this option of bill wise allocation because under F12 we have set this option as no. We are telling Tally not to use default bill allocation, but you are asking Tally to open up the bill wise allocation screen so that you can manually do the bill allocation. Now, supposing if I make this option as yes, so I'm going to come here and then press Y for yes and press enter and I'm going to press control A. Now let's go back to the same entry. So I press enter here, enter, you come to the total and now let us see what happens because we have set the option to allocate the bill by default. So when I press enter, tally is not opening up the bill wise subscreen. Instead, tally is going to do an auto allocation of the bill wise reference. So normally in every purchase and every sale tally is going to by default select new reference. And in case of purchase voucher, if you have entered the supplier invoice number, tally will pick up the supplier invoice number as the reference number. And in case if you don't mention any supplier invoice number, then tally is going to pick up the purchase voucher number as the reference number. Ideally in purchase, it is always advisable that you capture the supplier invoice number so that that reference is captured in your bill wise detail later on when the payment is made or when a discussion happens related to pending bill, both the parties are clear about the reference number for which the amount is pending. Now in case of sales, what tally will do? By default, it will take the sales voucher number as the primary reference number because your sales voucher number is going to be unique number and your customer when he is capturing the purchase invoice, he is going to track your sales voucher number 
as is reference number in the purchase. The way we are now tracking the supplier invoice number as our tracking number for this purchase and payment. Let us save this voucher and see whether tally is captured the reference number for bill reference so that we have proper outstanding management. So I'm going to save this voucher, accept and let us go to the bill wise detail of this party and see what is the status of this bill because we have not specified the reference manually. So to view the ledger outstanding of the party, we can use our secret number three, click on go to and type <coughs> ledger and select ledger outstanding and press enter. Now here from the list of ledger, we want to view the outstanding detail of global distributors. You can type GLO tally is going to auto filter enter and now if you notice here we made this entry with the reference number GD1215 and tally is automatically added this as part of your outstanding statement. So this is the advantage of having this option to do the bill wise allocation by the system. Let us now go back to purchase voucher and go to the F12 configuration and try to see a use case when a business or a user would want to set up this option to yes. So I'm going to press escape and I'm going to press F12 configuration and you would want to set this option to yes where let us say in your organization you have a data entry operator or a junior accountant who is going to capture your sales and purchase invoice. Now if you don't want the person to do the bill wise allocation manually, just in case if they wrongly select a wrong type of reference, then your bill wise detail or your outstanding statement may not be proper. So in those cases, you can come here and set this option, use default bill wise detail for bill allocation to yes, so that every new purchase and every new sale tally is going to select the reference as new reference and it is going to capture the reference number just now as I mentioned. I hope this session would have helped you in understanding the option just now we learned related to allocation of bill detail and see how you can make use of this option in your organization for capturing the data more accurately. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.